Hey everybody, this is Mars. So this is going to be a new episode format, a new way of me uh, putting out videos to you guys. And I'm going to try and do this bi-weekly. And essentially what it's going to be is a full episode of segments that I'm going to predetermine before I put them out. So for this week, I'm going to do a hero deep dive. I'm going to do tips and tricks head-to-head troop stats, stop doing that, and Rise of the King news. And if you have any suggestions for future segments, leave it in the comments. <laughs> Our hero deep dive for this week is Og Mali, or however you want to say it. I call him the tank. Uh, you know what? I really, really like this guy. I think that he is really good at making sure that your solo works really well. I also think he will be good in a rally. So if you love infantry, you like soloing castles or leading rallies with a lot of infantry, this guy's your man. I wouldn't suggest him uh, for those who like to do mixed uh, dispatches on attacking. I would stick to infantry lovers and players that love to take on large castles. So here's why he's so good at that. It's his second ability. Now yeah, just increasing the HP isn't like amazing like Faceless uh, is, but what he does is if you have 250,000 troops in your dispatch, then you can get a 25% decrease on damage dealt to all of your infantry. So it doesn't matter if you tack into just a ton of damage, 25% of that, of all the damage, will be decreased. So, you're only taking 75% of the damage that you would have been taking. So, I think that's absolutely amazing. I think you could pair him up with uh, Gideon, Jansen, uh, any, any infantry hero that you have leveled up. So, don't sleep on this guy. He's relatively easy to get. Uh... Not like super easy, but you know, you can push for him, you can buy him pretty easily. Uh, multiple ways to get him. So, don't sleep on this guy. I, I think that he is a very useful hero, and if you're lucky enough to get him leveled up to 80, 100, 120, I think you can start throwing him in the mix. Alright, so here's some advice don't go past level 8 in warplay. For one, you're not going to get any Rafi Shars from that, and also, the items that you get are just not worth the gems that you will spend to get to level 10, or level 8, or go past level 8 to level 9. So just don't do it. If you don't need Rafi Shards anymore, you know what? Going past level 6, not exactly necessary. The rewards are just not as good as they used to be. So. That's what I got for that tip. Tired of all those notifications? Time to get over it. I'm sorry. Yes, it's annoying to have all of those notifications, but making sure all of your heroes have skills attached so that you don't have notifications on your heroes, it's just not a good way to use them. My suggestion is build up, see how many you can get, and then burn all of those books that you don't need. You get a lot of ash, uh, book ashes or whatever they're called, and you can exchange them for really good stuff most of the time. I burn through tons of books, and I get really great books back from it. So keep looking at the exchange. Look at it every day. I don't use the the book ash, uh, the ten down here, the refreshing. Uh, not worth it. Uh, so just check it every day and buy the good ones. 
This is head-to-head -head troop stats. So I've tested T10 infantry versus T10 archers. And then I tested T10 archers versus T9 infantry. And then I also tested some T9 archers, but they were just so bad that I ended up throwing out the tests. So this is what I've come up with. I've matched the stats between the infantry and the archers so that you get a somewhat definitive answer from this. So I tested this with equal troops attacking each other. And then I increased the troop amount until I won consistently versus each troop type. So T10 versus T10 archers. The T10 infantry win and have a 38% higher survival rate of troops. Now, it takes 27 higher troop count for the T10 archers to beat the T10 infantry. So, head to head, T10 infantry win, and it takes a considerable amount of T10 archers at the same stats to beat the T10 infantry. So we learned there and I don't think this uh, you know was new to anybody that T10 archers don't beat T10 infantry. Now T10 archers versus T9 infantry archers win with a 26% higher survival rate. And then it takes the infantry a 13% larger dispatch to beat the T9 infantry. So I don't know if how much the ability that the T10 archers have of counteracting the spearmen affects the battle, but I think it does. And the tests were pretty definitive that T10 archers are actually pretty viable against T9 infantry. Now, at some point, I'm going to test this against T11 infantry, and hopefully we can find out soon what it will take to take on those T11 infantry. And I think that will be very helpful to many players. So I'm going to try and do that soon. So in conclusion... T10 is really good about soloing troops, uh, the T10 infantry. The T9, I think, are better at defending your castle, especially when you're getting into the higher tier of, of you know, kill events and everything else. So, that's the stats for this week. On this week's Stop Doing That, let's look at the auction house. Guys, seriously, I've seen way too many players spend more on the auction house than the items are even worth. Uh, example, I saw someone spend on, uh, what was it, VIP points. They spent... 6,000 VIP, uh, 6,000 gems for 5,000 VIP points. That's just stupid. You can buy it for cheaper in the store. Don't get caught up in the bidding. If it's a good deal, do it. If you need the item and you're even going to get 150 gems off of it, fine. Go for it. But don't spend more gems than the items are worth that you can just buy it from the normal store. I know that bidding and winning a bid is a lot of fun, but other than getting the items, you don't get anything extra. So just be careful with that and know what you're getting yourself into. Uh, there's, especially in the Cross Kingdom auction, there's a lot of items that you just can't buy anywhere else or they're very, very rare in uh, $100 packs. So, yeah, splurge sometimes if you want to. 
but guys listen like for example a seven day castle theme whatever i mean who really needs seven days of a castle theme i'd much prefer one day and also you don't even know which theme you're gonna get i mean you get one of these at random i'd be pissed if i spent 15 thousand gems and got a seven day cherry blossom theme my eternal theme that i have is way better than the cherry blossom theme so not worth it so whoever's spending fifteen thousand on that stop it not worth it use your gems wisely so for rise of the kings news uh we got the mergers coming up and Sadly, for most kingdoms, you're not going to be a part of this. Uh, first off, they're going to do the pilot, and they're going to see how that goes, and a lot of this is going to be conditioned on what the king of the kingdom thinks. So if the king says, no, I don't want to pair with that, merge, uh, with that kingdom, then you don't merge, and you get thrown back in the, the pile and who knows when you might come back around again. Uh, I think that they haven't quite nailed, quite nailed down how they want to do this. So don't hold your breath. Don't get all excited and start talking with other kingdoms yet. Because you really don't know who you're going to be able to merge with. Or if you'll be able to merge enough at all. So um, keep that in mind. And uh, I'll just keep a, an eye on this. Glance on it for a minute from time to time and we'll see more about this later on so glancing through this uh we got a few new things for season two of uh K krt um so first off you got the protections uh spell that can be activated by the king uh pretty much just saying you're not gonna go out of whatever level you're in I think this is okay. I don't think it fixes any of the problems that came from people going up against bad matchups. Uh, lastly, I think that they changed some of the items that you can get with the uh, with the points. So that's all new stuff. Well, guys, that's all I got for you. Hopefully, you liked the video. Once again, if you have any suggestions on segments i can do on the next episode leave it in the comment if you want to make me f make me feel happy and validated leave me a like uh i will catch you guys later next video will be the kvk war video on my experience there well i'll catch you guys on the flip side